parenting, there is nothing wrong with seeking out the advice of a seasoned parent, somebody you trust, but do you ask someone in person? Do you put it all out there on social media? Well, our guest right now, Meryl Feather, is with Facebook, and we're talking about just that. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Meryl. Morning. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, let's talk about social media and parenting. How have things changed over the years? In many ways, the mission of parenting has really stayed the same. In a lot of ways, it still takes a village, right, to really come together and, and get that advice. What we're seeing on Facebook and in Facebook groups in particular is that that village has really become virtual and moms and parents across the country are really coming to Facebook groups, which is a smaller community of folks on Facebook, to share their experiences and share some of the challenges that they're going through, little wins that they've had as parents, and really get um, support from one another and tips and tricks. And there's a word that you've coined for this. Well, yes, we're seeing sharenting happening on Facebook, right? It's really a trend that en en encapsulates two things. One is the um, just sharing of, you know, whether it be photos or videos of my child, sharing that with my friends and family so that they know what's going on in my life. Um, but also the connecting with other parents, as I mentioned, really coming together and, and finding um, others who are sharing my experience on social media. And you know, I've actually done this just in, in not even in, in specific groups, but if I have a question about, I just want to take a survey, what are the curfews or what are you paying babysitters these days, but you're saying that you might get more if you narrow down the field? Well, I think what you're seeing is, is you can find um, people who are going through that experience for sure with you and have more of an ongoing communication directly with them in groups which are almost like their own little space for your community. So, mm -hmm. for example, I imagined how much support I would have gotten from that community of women. And you know, this is uh, when my kids were little, this wasn't an option and we would have weekly play groups and that's where you got did all the sharing but that got terribly inconvenient and you couldn't have more than maybe a dozen moms so this is really great how do folks find the group that's right for them so on May 9th, we are introducing the new Facebook Groups Discover tool, and that's going to be a great place for, for moms and really everyone to come to find a personalized recommendations for groups that are right for them. Um, parenting is one of the most popular ways to use Facebook Groups, so you'll be able to find local parenting groups, etc. there, um, as well as groups of other folks who share other interests or passions of yours, for example, food or health and fitness. So on May 9th, that's really going to be a great place to get, um, get that personalized uh, recommendation and find a group that's right for you. And will that kind of find us or is there somewhere specific we need to go on May 9th? On May 9th, it's just right um, in the Facebook app. If you go to the bottom right hand of your screen, you'll see the more menu and the groups discover feature is right in there. Okay, well, thank you so much. I think that's going to be some valuable information for some folks. Meryl, great to have you on the show.